Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting and special Holland America Line webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an industry relations manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. This webinar will run about 45 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Michelle Sutter. Michelle is the Vice President of North America Sales with Holland America Line, where she leads the sales organization. Her career in the cruise industry spans over two decades, beginning as a shipboard translator, where her passion for travel and photographing doors around the world was ignited. Michelle believes that opening doors to new opportunities for learning and growth are paramount to personal and professional success and has centered her efforts on building a culture at Holland America Line that empowers the team to do their best work with their valued travel partners. One of Michelle's proudest accomplishments was to spearhead the sponsorship and reunification of a refugee family separated by war. Michelle plays competitive soccer and engages in a passion for photography while residing in Vancouver, British Columbia with her husband and two daughters. And with that, take it away, Michelle. Thank you so much, Anna, and thank you everyone for joining me today. I'm so excited to be here and I am grateful for the time you are all investing to learn more about Holland America Line and why we are Alaska. As Anna mentioned, I'm the Vice President of North America Sales, and I'm here today to share with you the Holland America Line Alaska experience. I'm going to start with a quick overview of why our cruises and cruise tours to Alaska are the best choice for your clients, followed by a rundown of what's new starting in 2022, and then I'll go in some more detail on both cruises and cruise tours before finishing up by highlighting the resources that you can learn from. But before we jump into the details, I want to acknowledge and recognize all of you for all of your efforts. I know the last 18 months have been hard and you have been uh, with us through it all. I'm so inspired by your resilience and your unwavering commitment to continue forward. So thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart for all that you do and for all of your support. We know that we wouldn't be here today without you and your support. So, our ship the New Amsterdam is currently finishing up her sailings in Alaska this fall from Seattle, which has been a very exciting restart to cruising for us. But today I'm going to be focusing on the next two full seasons in Alaska, which are available to book. Our 2022 season will mark our 75th anniversary in the Great Land. We've been showing visitors the very best of Alaska since 1947. That's more than a decade before it was even a state, and we're very excited to get back to a full deployment next summer with six ships and our complete assortment of Alaska cruise tours. And I'm thrilled to announce as well that our 2023 season is now open for booking as well. And I'd like to encourage you to start reaching out to your groups and early planners that might be interested in the 2023 season to start securing their preferred dates and suites and staterooms. The deployment and itineraries for both our 22 and 23 seasons are very similar. So I'll be talking interchangeably about our Holland America Line Alaska experience today, but I will ca call out a few minor differences between the two seasons. When you have clients interested in Alaska, it's an easy decision on who to recommend because we at Holland America Line are Alaska. Like I mentioned earlier, in 2022, we will have more than 75 years of experience in the state, and no other cruise line comes even close in terms of our expertise and the depth of our connections in this amazing place. We like to simply say that we are Alaska because we offer our guests more ways to explore and discover both Alaska and the Yukon's must-see and seldom seen wonders than, than any other cruise line. From seven-day cruises of Alaska's famed Inside Passage and iconic glaciers to more than a dozen cruise tours that combine a cruise with Denali and even the wilds of the Yukon, no one does it better than Holland America Line. But you don't just have to take my word for it. Here are just a few of the awards that have acknowledged our destination and Alaska expertise. We've been rated best in Alaska by experienced cruisers and destination experts alike. So what makes us the top-rated cruise line in Alaska? Well, 
as we've already talked about, our 75 years of experience have allowed us to develop unmatched expertise and insider knowledge in the great land. But there's more to it than that. We have more itineraries that include Glacier Bay National Park than any other cruise line. Not only do we have more permits than anyone else, but we're one of the few cruise lines who can actually get access to the park. There are others who cannot go or have limited options. Plus, we offer Glacier Discovery Cruises that include two glacier viewing days. So that's Glacier Bay plus Hubbard Glacier or College Fjord. Our award-winning itineraries offer convenient weekend departures, plus the advantage of prime docking locations that put your clients just steps away from everything Alaska has to offer. And finally, our fleet of spacious, uncrowded, mid-sized ships, including the Koningsdam, the first of our pinnacle class ships to sail Alaska, offer award-winning dining, the best live music at sea, and exclusive exploration central destination programming, and special food and wine culinary excursions on shore. And I really want to call out the fact that we have our mid-sized ships in Alaska, particularly during this chapter of time that we're all experiencing. This is something that we're hearing from our clients and guests that they prefer having a mid-sized ship where there won't be as many crowds. Now on the cruise tour side, we have the premier Denali experience at our own 60-acre McKinley Chalet Resort bordering Denali National Park. Holland America Line might not be in the name, but it's in our, it is our exclusive resort. And our guests can stay up to three nights at Denali for in-depth park exploration with Tundra Wilderness Tours, including on all two and three night stays. Plus, on every cruise tour, they're going to they're either going to travel to or from Denali aboard our McKinley Explorer luxury domed rail cars with select itineraries that go direct from the ship to Denali. We also offer exclusive access to the Yukon. We are the only cruise line that offers Yukon and Denali cruise tours, which combine an Alaska cruise, two or three nights at Denali, and two nights at Dawson City in the Yukon to explore the territory's spectacular landscapes and gold rush history. And throughout all of our cruise tours, we use company-owned and operated hotels, rail cars, and motor coaches with highly knowledgeable staff. Holland America Line gives our guests two ways to get to know and love Alaska as much as we do, cruises and cruise tours. Some of you may be wondering where our land and sea journeys are. Well, we've decided this year to go back to using the term cruise tours to align with the standard industry terminology so that we can be as clear as possible for our guests and our advisors. But rest assured that all the cruise tour itineraries and experiences that you're familiar with are still the same. Every one of our cruise tours still includes an Alaskan cruise combined with time at our premier McKinley Chalet Resort at Denali, and we are still offering exclusive cruise tours that venture into the Yukon as well, which are known as just Yukon and Denali cruise tours. For those of you who may be newer to our Alaska offerings, I'd like to offer you a quick summary of the two choices. We have the cruises. And of course, nothing tops a Holland America Line cruise for the best introduction to Alaska's massive glaciers, charming seaside towns, and abundant marine life. Our elegant mid-sized ships get you closer to every glacier, every whale splash, and every tranquil inlet with uncrowded viewing opportunities and exceptional Alaska programming on board. And then we have our cruise tours. And on a cruise tour, you get a chance to see the best of land and sea. As you venture from sparkling waters on an Alaska cruise to the stunning Denali National Park of Alaska's interior, you can hike through the taiga forest, spot caribou, bears, and other iconic Alaskan wildlife on a tundra wilderness tour. And of course, you get closer to the Great One. And our exclusive Yukon and Denali cruise tours, you'll embark on the ultimate Great Land adventure all the way to the Yukon Territory. Journey from Alaska's stunning seascapes to the wonders of Denali to the vast expanses of the Yukon, where the Klondike Gold Rush history meets wild natural beauty. I'd like to go into a little more detail on, the both, on both of these experiences, but I wanted to cover a few things that will be new for the 22 and the 23 seasons first. So you may be familiar already with these changes, but because they were originally planned for 2020 or 2021, 
but they will finally come to fruition now in our 2022 season and continue the next year as well. So that first big update is that the Koning Stem debut season in Alaska will be next summer. She'll be our first of our innovative trio of pinnacle class ships to cruise the region and we'll be sailing both our seven day inside passage cruises round trip from my hometown of Vancouver, British Columbia, as well as the cruise portion of our Yukon and Denali cruise tours. Our pinnacle class ships are our newest trio of ships. They also include the new Staten Dam and our new ship, the Rotterdam, that just came out into um, the waters this month and they feature a handful of exclusives. These are the only ships in our fleet that include the specialty restaurant Rudy Seldemer, the lively brasserie from our master chef Rudy Sodomin, featuring modern twists on classic French dishes, and they also include culinary exclusives such as private dining venues for Club Orange Guest and the Grand Dutch Cafe where we serve up savory Dutch snacks with coffee and Dutch and Belgian beers. Now on the entertainment side, our Pinnacle class ships feature the full music walk experience, plus the Rolling Stone Rock Room, where a live band chronicles rock history each night. And these ships also include ocean view staterooms that are designed for families and single travelers. And just a note on that, these special staterooms are limited and they book up quickly. Another previously planned change that will start in 2022 is that our Glacier Discovery itineraries will now embark or disembark in Whittier rather than Seward. This offers some great benefits to both cruise and cruise tour guests. First of all, our Glacier Discovery cruises will now feature two glacier viewing experiences on every sailing. Every one of these sailings will spend a day cruising Glacier Bay National Park, and in addition to that, Northbound itineraries from Vancouver to Whittier will cruise College Fjord, and southbound itineraries from Whittier to Vancouver will cruise Hubbard Glacier. And again, those are in addition to Glacier Bay National Park. And I'll talk a little bit about that later in the presentation. And then another great benefit of the change is that now every cruise tour will include a scenic trip to or from Denali aboard the luxury domed rail cars of our McKinley Explorer, which are pictured here, with select rail adventures starting directly from the ship. And finally, arriving or departing from Whittier puts the guests just an hour and a half motor coach ride from Anchorage, where they can explore Alaska's largest city, continue their adventures to Denali, or catch a flight home. And for your clients that may be interested in visiting Seward, we do still offer cruise tours with an overnight there. I also wanted to call out that we've brought back our 14-day itineraries with limited sailings on the New Amsterdam and Nordam in both seasons. These immersive itineraries feature additional ports of call and rare visits to places like Kodiak and scenic cruising of Misty Fjords, along with favorites like Glacier Bay, Skagway, and Sitka. Now that we've discussed what's new, I'd like to talk more about how we deliver the ultimate Alaska cruise experience. Our cruises feature the best of Alaska's glaciers and ports, plus premium ships and programming designed for Alaska exploration. Our award-winning itineraries feature unique ports, convenient weekend departures, and more options for viewing glaciers. And as I mentioned, we have more sailings that include Glacier Bay National Park than any other cruise line. Plus, our Glacier Discovery itineraries now include the two glacier viewing days. That's Glacier Bay plus Hubbard Glacier and or College Fjord. We have six perfectly sized ships, including the Konings Dam, who will be sailing to Alaska. And our history in the state also gives us a big advantage with the prime docking positions at many of Alaska's ports so that guests can get off the ship and they're just steps away from the action. And finally, we have exclusive onboard and onshore programming to help your clients get more out of their time at sea and on land. And that includes Exploration Central, onboard destination, destination programming that connects the guests with the local culture, wildlife, and history. Then we have the exclusive culinary shore excursions in partnership with Food and Wine Magazine. And I had some travel advisors that sailed with us this summer who raved about these tours and really enjoyed them. And our guests 
aren't looking for an amusement park at sea. They really want experts who really understand the destinations and we prepare them to have the very best experience in the places we go with this destination immersion planning on board. So to start, here are the six ships we'll have in Alaska each season, with the only difference between the seasons being that the Zyderdam will join the Koningsdam on our seven-day inside passage sailings round trip from Vancouver in 2022, while the Volendam will sail along the Koningsdam in 2023. Our ships are half the size of some of the others in Alaska, which makes getting on and off the ship in port a breeze. And all of our ships have spacious decks, public areas for unprivated viewing of glaciers, wildlife, and more. While there are some variations among our fleet, we strive to deliver the Holland America Line experience throughout our ships. We focus taking our guests to some of the world's most special travel destinations in comfort and elegance, with an emphasis on great food, world-class music, and legendary service that is never in the way, yet never out of reach. Wherever your clients choose to cruise with us, they'll be immersed in an environment that reflects our destination expertise. We draw on our nearly 150 years of experience sailing the world's oceans to bring the stories of the places we visit to life with what we call Exploration Central. In addition to the world-class music and entertainment and unrivaled culinary experiences that you'll find on all of our cruises, we also have an array of exclusive Alaska programming on board to bring the great land to life. Our captivating EXC talks are presented in the world stage by our cruise and travel directors and cover topics such as Alaska's whales, the Iditarod and native cultures. And these engaging presentations mix in stirring video and expert interviews to tell engaging stories and go in depth on everything Alaska. Also on the world stage, we have our Alaska in concert performances by BBC Earth where live musicians provide the soundtrack to magnificent footage of natural worlds, and this is so popular with our guests. With our port-to-table food and drink experiences, your clients can get a taste of the Alaska experience in the Pacific Northwest. They can learn to prepare the perfect fresh salmon or halibut at a cooking demonstration, or enjoy a special regional menu item and food and drink tastings. In addition, we bring expert naturalists on board each Alaska sailing to lead workshops and wildlife spotting on deck. And finally, we have special programming in Glacier Bay where we bring on board the National Park Service Rangers and Huna tribe members to share the science, stories, and significance behind this special place, which I'll talk about more later in the presentation. So the first set of itineraries I'd like to show you are our Alaska Explorer Voyages. These sail round trip from Seattle and conveniently feature weekend departures with Eurodam departing on Saturdays and Westerdam departing on Sundays. The main difference between the two ships is that the Eurodam has a day of scenic cruising in Glacier Bay and the Westerdam cruises Hubbard Glacier. Both itineraries include a day in Juneau, Alaska's capital where your clients can visit Mendenhall Glacier, ride the Gold Belt Tramway up Mount Roberts, or try some of Alaska's culinary experiences from fresh crabs to traditional salmon bakes. They also include time in beautiful Sitka, where they can kayak, fly fish, and even snorkel the sound in a dry suit. And they call in Ketchikan, which is a great place to learn more about Alaska's native cultures, or just to get back out in the Alaskan wilderness before heading back south to Victoria and Seattle. Now, in addition to the 14-day itineraries I showed you before, we have both round-trip sailings from Vancouver and cruises that travel between Vancouver and Whittier in Alaska, where guests can connect with Anchorage to fly in and out of or start or end their cruise tour. All of these voyages sail the fabled glacier-cut fjords of the Inside Passage, one of the world's most scenic waterways where your clients can watch for whales, eagles, and seals. And in addition to Glacier Bay National Park, Juneau and Ketchikan, these voyages also call in Skagway, which is one of the main gateways for the Klondike Gold Rush. There's plenty of Gold Rush history in Old West Trend to discover in town, and your clients can also ride the breathtaking White Pass and Yukon Route Railroad, dog sled across a glacier, or hike and raft in the surrounding wilderness. These voyages also make up the cruise portions of our cruise tours. 
Cruise tours with the seven day cruise sail our glacier discovery itineraries and cruise tours with a three or four day cruise sail part of our inside passage itinerary embarking or disembarking in Skagway, where they take the White Pass Rail in or out of the Yukon. Glaciers are one of the key features that draw guests to Alaska. So I'd love to give you an overview of the glacier viewing experiences our guests are going to have. Glacier Bay National Park is no doubt the most well-renowned glacier destination of, in Alaska, if not the world. Holland America Line has been cruising the waters of this pristine and glacial wilderness since before it was a national park. And as a result, we've been granted more permits to visit Glacier Bay than any other cruise line. This means that we're able to include this iconic destination on more departures, giving our guests more choices of itineraries and dates that feature Glacier Bay. Covering 3.3 million acres of rugged mountains, active glaciers, temperate rainforests, wild coastlines, and deep sheltered fjords, Glacier Bay National Park is a highlight of Alaska's Inside Passage and part of a 25 million acre World Heritage Site, one of the world's largest international protected areas. As an authorized concessioner, Holland America Line ships travel into the heart of the Fairweather Mountains for a trip back into the Ice Ages. You can watch for icebergs and calving glaciers, scan the shorelines for wildlife like brown bears, mountain goats, sea otters, sea lions, harbor seals, bald eagles, and a variety of seabirds that are regularly seen. There's eight hours of cruising the glacier fjords of the park and the ship will visit one or two of the most spectacular mile-wide tidewater glaciers for a full hour of ice and wildlife viewing. We bring the National Park Service park rangers aboard the ship to provide a narrative about the important aspects of the visit, give special presentations about the park, kids activities, staff and information desk, and answer all of your questions. And yes, they do bring their National Park service passport stamp. And we're also joined, as I mentioned earlier, by the Huna Native Cultural Heritage Guides, who provide broad insight to this immense landscape and share their personal experiences, clan and family traditions, as well as the historic use of the area. And finally, Holland America Line is proud to carry on its long-standing tradition of serving hot Dutch pea soup on deck during our time cruising in Glacier Bay. Hubbard Glacier is, is one of the other glaciers that we'll be visiting. And while Glacier Bay offers impressive glaciers in every direction, Hubbard offers guests the bragging rights of being face-to-face -face with the largest tidewater glacier in North America. At 76 miles long and 1,200 feet deep, it's 25% larger than the state of Rhode Island. At its face, where it meets the sea, Hubbard stands 400 feet that's 40 stories tall above the waterline and another 800 feet and 80 stories are underwater. Equally impressive is the fact that Hubbard's face is more than six miles wide. With the snow-capped mountains and towering Mount Fairweather serving as a glorious backdrop, guests on deck have a prime viewing spot from which to witness the glacier calving as it often expels icebergs the size of 10-story buildings. The area around Hubbard Glacier is also renowned for its wildlife where whales, harbor seals, and otters swim, and brown bears, moose, and black-tailed deer roam ashore, and a wide variety of seabirds soar gracefully across the sky. In the northwestern part of the Alaska's Prince William Sound, College Fjord cuts 40 kilometers into the heart of the rugged Chagak Mountains. The fjord contains five tidewater glaciers that are up to 1.5 miles wide at their face, five large valley glaciers, and dozens of smaller glaciers. Members of the Harriman Expedition, which explored the region in 1899, named the glaciers in the fjord after some of the country's oldest eastern universities. Similar in many respects to Glacier Bay, College Fjord Cruising offers a multitude of close-up glacier viewing opportunities, along with abundant marine shoreline and aerial wildlife viewing as well. Located about 40 miles south of Juneau, Tracy Arm is a beautiful glacier-carved fjord that winds its way 30 miles into the coastal mountains of the Inside Passage 
to the twin jewels of the North Sawyer and South Sawyer glaciers. While the glaciers are stunning, here it is as much about the journey as it is about the destination. The sheer granite cliffs rise more than 4,000 feet above the fjord with spectacular waterfalls cascading from high above. Tracy Arm is also known to have the largest icebergs in all of Alaska. No wonder the naturalist John Muir calls Tracy Arm one of the most dramatically stunning fjords of Southeast Alaska. Tracy Arm and the Sawyer Glaciers are offered as an optional excursion on our inside passage itineraries from Vancouver. The ship stops at the entrance of Tracy Arm en route to Juneau and participating guests transfer to an excursion vessel for their six hour tour. Following their exploration of the fjord and glaciers, the tour returns guests to Juneau to rejoin the ship and in plenty of time to take advantage of other Juneau tour options as well. Perhaps Juneau's most famed attraction, Mendenhall Glacier, flows 13 miles from the Juneau ice field to Mendenhall Lake and is easily viewed from the Forest Service's historic visitor center. Known as one of the few dry rock glaciers in the world, a visit to Mendenhall Glacier is offered as a standalone shore excursion or as a component of many combination tour packages that also include whale watching and hiking. You can even take a helicopter ride and land on the glacier to trek or dog sled. Mendenhall Glacier is located approximately 13 miles from downtown Juneau and the cruise docks and requires the purchase of an optional excursion or transportation service. Most visitors spend 45 minutes to an hour at the Glacier and Visitor Center. The Visitor Center features movies, interactive exhibits, telescopes, ranger talks, children's activities and bookstores, as well as spectacular views of Mendenhall Glacier, Nugget Falls, and icebergs floating in the lake. There are many trails from easy to moderate through the forest along the lake. Frequently seen wildlife includes mountain goats, bears, beavers, and spawning salmon in season. We know you have clients who will love the Holland America Line experience. Alaska is a great first time cruise destination and an opportunity to introduce Holland America Line to experienced cruises who are looking for something better and expect an authentic Alaska experience. Whether you have a couple looking for an anniversary trip or a mother-daughter looking for a special time together, a family looking to get multiple generations traveling together, or a getaway just for the girls, you have the clients and now's the time to introduce them to Holland America Line. And there's great selling opportunities for families who want to explore Alaska, perhaps even with the extended family. A trip where mom and dad can connect with each other while the children enjoy tailor-made programs just for them. And remember, I was mentioning having the Coning Stab in Alaska includes family staterooms that accommodate up to five people. And Alaska is the destination where we actually have the most first to cruise guests than any other destination. So think about that also for your guests who haven't cruised before. This is a great way to get them on board. Parade.com has also included the Coning Stab Alaska cruises as one of the best family friendly cruises. When a client asks about Alaska, of course cruising comes to mind. It's one of the most convenient ways to see the vast place. However, cruising is just the beginning. If the guest really wants to experience the great land, I encourage you to get them to book a cruise tour. You know, what attracts people to Alaska along with glaciers and wildlife and the natural beauty? One of the top draws is the state of Denali and the iconic Denali National Park that surrounds it. However, Denali National Park is located almost dead center in the middle of Alaska's interior, as you can see here on the map. More than 6 million acres of concentrated Alaskan superlatives that deliver pretty much everything on most people's bucket list that can't be seen from the deck of a ship or in the port of the Inside Passage. So a cruise tour gives your clients the best of both worlds. They experience the charming towns and spectacular glaciers and marine wildlife of the coast, and then venture inland to explore Denali and the other incredible destinations of Alaska's interior and even the Yukon. Denali is so important that Holland America Line includes stays here on every single cruise tour. And not only do we include a stay here, we truly believe that we offer the premier Denali experience. All of our cruise tour guests stay at our very own 60 acre McKinley Chalet Resort which is conveniently, conveniently located near the gates of the park with access to our private Denali Square, where there's restaurants, bars, fire pits, entertainment, and Alaska programming. 
We offer up to three nights at Denali, so there's ample time to explore and unwind in the stunning surroundings. And our Tundra Wilderness Tour is included for all cruise tours with two or three nights in Denali, where our guests have the best chance to see the Alaska's big five, grizzly bears, caribou, dal sheep, wolves, and moose in the wild. And finally, every cruise tour includes a ride along the historic Alaska Railroad to or from Denali aboard the luxury dome rail cars of our McKinley Explorer. Since many of our Denali experiences begin with a ride on our McKinley Explorer, I'd like to start there. The train travels along the historic rail line between Anchorage and Denali with select rail adventures that begin directly from the ship in Whittier. Your clients will discover the romance of travel by train as they ride in these luxury glass dome rail cars, the largest of their kind in the world, where they'll admire the panoramic view up top or step down below to breathe the fresh alpine air on an open deck. Plus, our friendly staff is there to point out scenic viewpoints and wildlife along the way. And as I mentioned before, our McKinley Explorer is included on every cruise tour either to or from Denali. When you're applying to arrive at Denali, they will stay at our own exclusive hotel property, McKinley Chalet Resort. We call it rustic chic. Your clients will call it unforgettable as they enjoy one, two, or three memorable nights at our own McKinley Chalet Resort, set in a premier location on the banks of the Nanana River, just outside of the park. Nestled in the heart of the resort is Denali Square, the gathering place for Holland America Line guests. It's anchored by a beautiful restaurant with soaring views into the park known as Carson's Public House. A boardwalk wraps around the central square, connecting Karstens to outdoor dining areas, an artist and residence cabin, shops, and the music of Denali Theater, dinner theater, pardon me. In the center of the square is an amphitheater used for ranger talks, demonstrations, and live music in the evenings. And fire circles draw guests together to make s'mores and share stories of their Denali adventures. As I mentioned, our Tundra Wilderness Tour, Alaska's Denali National Park is where Beauty is untamed and majestic animals roam their wide open habitat as they have for millennia. On a tour with the Tundra Wilderness, included in all Holland America Line two and three night Denali stays, your clients will travel deep into the heart of Denali. This comfortable, comprehensive and fully narrated six to eight hour excursion takes guests 62 miles into the park's unspoiled wilderness for up close views of Mount Denali. It offers the best chance to see Alaska's marquee animals, grizzlies, caribou, dal sheep, moose, and wolves in a setting of incomparable grandeur. You can see from the map here the difference between our Tundra Wilderness Tour and the Denali tours offered by other cruise lines. We continue farther in the park where the best mountain and wildlife, point, wildlife viewpoints are. And finally, if your guests really want the ultimate stay in McKinley Chalet Resort, they can upgrade to a Denali suite. Denali suites allow your clients to spread out in a large space that includes a separate seating area, don a cozy bathrobe and take in the breathtaking scenery from their private balcony and enjoy special touches like s'mores and kits and, cu and Keurig coffee machines with Starbucks coffees. These rooms are also our closest accommodations to Denali Square. I also wanted to point out that your clients do not need to be on a suite on board the ship to book a Denali suite. Anyone on a Holland America Line cruise tour can upgrade to the Denali suite and it's booked after the cruise tour is booked. Please see our Denali suites flyer that is available on gohal.com for more details and how your guests can book a Denali suite at the McKinley Chalet Resort. So as an example of a cruise tour, let's take a closer look to our D1 itinerary. Our helpful bar chart can give you uh, an overview of the modes of transportation. And of course, all the cruise tours are available in both the land first or the cruise first direction. D1 is the triple Denali cruise tours and it's representative of what's so great of, about this series of itineraries. You get a seven day cruise with two glacier viewing experiences and some of the top ports in Alaska along with three whole nights at Denali and a Tundra Wilderness Tour. For the ultimate Great Land vacation, 
Your clients can combine an Alaskan cruise with Denali National Park and the wild frontier of the Yukon Territory on one of our exclusive Yukon and Denali cruise tours. We're the only cruise line that combines Alaska with the majesty of the Yukon. Rich in Klondike Gold Rush history and spellbinding scenery, every Yukon and Denali cruise tour includes two nights in this historic Dawson City, and many include other amazing experiences, such as panning for gold, a cruise in the Yukon River aboard the paddle wheeler Klondike Spirit, or ride along the White Pass and Yukon Route Railroad. Every Yukon and Denali cruise tour is also led by a professional journey host, a knowledgeable guide who will accompany guests during the land portion of their trip, coordinating all the transportation and logistics, and sharing insider secrets from gold panning tips to where to watch for elk. Our Yukon and Denali cruise tours are our highest rated experiences, and it's truly the adventure of a lifetime to visit a place so remote and so magnificent. And I wanted to mention when we say the highest rated, they are the highest rated cruise experiences of any of the destinations we have across the world. So this is a spectacular opportunity for your guests to experience Alaska. Here's an example of our Yukon and Denali cruise tours. Our Y3 itinerary features a three or four day inside passage, plus three nights at Denali with a Tundra wilderness tour, two nights each at Skagway and Dawson, and one night each in Anchorage, Fairbanks, and Whitehorse. This is a great example of the opportunity to see Alaska's interior, but also to explore what's right next door, the Yukon. So to recap, our D0 to D9 cruise tours include a seven-day glacier discovery cruise, Glacier Bay on every cruise, along with scenic cruising at either College Fjord or Hubbard Glacier, up to three nights at Denali staying at our incredible McKinley Chalet Resort with a Tundra Wilderness Tour on every two or three night stay and arrive on board our McKinley Explorer luxury domed cars. And our exclusive Yukon and Denali cruise tours, your clients will receive either a three, four or seven day cruise with glacier viewing opportunities, Again, up to three nights at Denali in our incredible McKinley Chalet Resort with a Tundra Wilderness Tour and a ride aboard our McKinley Explorer included on every Yukon and Denali cruise tour. And an adventure into the Yukon led by a professional journey host where they'll spend two nights in Dawson City. And finally, I wanted to mention that all of our cruises and cruise tours can be booked with our Have It All premium package. For one simple fare, your clients can get a short excursion drink package, specialty dining experience, and Wi-Fi for half the price of what they would have paid for for all of those amenities individually on board. And they pay that price up front so they can be in the moment on their cruise and not have to think twice about whether to indulge in a special dinner or enjoy a sunset drink together out on the deck or post their photos on Facebook at night. And just to clarify, because this is included in the pricing of the cruise, this makes this package commissionable to you. Whereas if they had booked these amenities and benefits separately on board, they wouldn't have been commissionable. So this increases the price of the cruise while giving you the opportunity to earn more commission. I would also strongly recommend and encourage you to go to gohow.com after this presentation, where we put together a landing page with a variety of tools and resources for booking, planning, and promoting Holland America Line Alaska cruises and cruise tours. Gohow.com also offers resources for learning, including Holland America Line Academy, current news, promotions, events, and recordings of previous webinars. On GoHell.com, you're going to find our Alaska planners, which have detailed information on itineraries, inclusions, departure dates, and all the great things that make our Alaska experiences stand out. And you can share them with our clients to use as a reference to get them excited about planning an Alaska trip. We also have flyers, promotional materials, videos, banner ads, and social media assets. Everything you might need to help sell a Holland America Line Alaska cruise or cruise tour. One of the most effective selling tours, or sorry, tools is our exclusive on-stage Alaska shows. There are usually special events that we host in partnership with you, but in these unusual times, we've transitioned to virtual events as webinars. Our sales team can give you more information about how you can book these events that can help you 
close some more Alaska business. And be sure to follow our travel advisor pages on Facebook and Twitter. This is a great way to be alerted about the latest news, promotions, and other special features to help you sell. And please join me every Monday on Facebook for Mondays with Michelle. That's at New Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, when we're broadcasting live. And if not, we will also be sharing recorded interviews, videos, and updates with you. I'd also like to invite you to join the MS Masterminds Travel Advisor Book Club. This is a group and now a community of travel advisors where we read books together and it's become one of the silver linings of the past year. So I hope you will come along our next reading adventure. You can find us on Facebook by looking up MS Masterminds. I hope that you've found the information that I've shared valuable and, and will help support your sales in selling Holland America Line in Alaska. And as always, I'd like to close with sharing my gratitude for you, our valued travel advisors. Thank you for your support, your strength, your loyalty, and everything you do every day to share the Holland America Line story with your clients. We are profoundly grateful for each and every one of you, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much, Michelle, so for, much, all Michelle that, for all of that information. And information. we do have some questions coming in. Great. Our first question, we have a couple of these, is about how Holland America accommodates passengers with disabilities. And if you could speak to excursions as well, that would be great. Thank you for asking the question. So we have our staterooms on board that are uh, that accommodate our our guests with disabilities, and we do have tours that will have options for guests with disabilities. What I'd love to get Anna is if we can have the contact details for the advisors who are asking that question, then we can provide some materials and and more resources with the details surrounding that. Yes, of course, I will share that after the webinar. Thank you. We have another question from Jennifer, and as we all know, our safety protocols are changing every day as the environment changes every day. But Jennifer is wondering where advisors can find Holland America Line safety protocols and requirements. Yes, thanks for asking, Jennifer, and I, I feel for you. I, I know that this changes so regularly and you all have different cruise lines to track so that that's a lot on your plate so on gohal.com you can find our travel well um, policies and processes and updates as well as hollandamerica.com perfect thank you and this question is from mickey who is wondering if you can repeat the monday facebook series oh sure um so on mondays it's mondays with michelle and I am either broadcasting live at noon Pacific Standard Time or 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you can find me on the Holland America Line Partnerships Facebook page, which I put up on the screen here. And um, if it's not live, then we post in the morning the recorded interviews. So, for example, um, after this presentation, I'm driving down to Seattle and I'll be meeting our ship, the New Amsterdam, there on Saturday. And I'll be interviewing our captain and our cruise and travel director for a more in-depth uh, look to their Alaska experiences. And we'll be broadcasting those on um, the upcoming Mondays. So that's where you'll find my interviews. We also on gohell.com have posted former interviews. I have some interviews there with Jan Swartz, um, our Holland American Group president and Arnold Donald, our CEO. Perfect. And it looks like those are all of our questions. So thank you so much, Michelle, for all of that wonderful information. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you for having me and have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.